back into the GOAT conversations. Um, I think. Oh, yeah, that was it. Yeah. Day and age, people are just throwing around the word GOAT, which means the greatest of all time, around too loosely. Um, I think um, an instance happened with Kyan Anthony or Keon. Wow. Carmelo's son. son. I don't know how you pronounce it, but his mother mm -hmm. recently, I think they were doing a podcast or whatnot, and she asked him, who's your GOAT? And the the boy had the audacity to tell his mother. The un unmitigated the gall. Unmitigated gall <laughs> to tell his mother that playoff P, Paul George, was his GOAT. I, I'm hearing this a lot lately that a lot of these young kids are saying Paul George is their GOAT. But to be in the GOAT conversation, you have to reach a certain stratosphere. You've got to be up here. Like, I can understand you saying Kobe Bryant. Because even if they, these kids are young, so they're not going to say Michael Jordan. They didn't watch Michael Jordan. They just seen maybe highlights or heard people talk about this, this godlike creature who flew over mountains to dunk the ball. Um and made amazing shots. So you have people in our generation or these kids' generation like LeBron James, you have um, Steph Curry, you even have Kobe Bryant, if you want to go that far. And I'm probably missing one. Oh, and Kevin Durant. So those are people who have won, who stepped up in big-time moments, made big-time shots, made big-time defensive stops, got MVPs and things in that nature. And for you to come out there and say, Paul George, it's freaking blasphemous. It's wow. It's it's insane. I don't. I, I couldn't even fathom him coming out there and saying. Not alone. It's not the problem that he already didn't say his dad who was probably a great player, but his dad didn't win. And he said like, yeah, his mom was like, but how do you not say your dad? He's like, man, my dad really didn't win. He went or do it. Did pl playoff P win? He still thinks that that was a bad shot by Damian Lillard. So I mean. I just don't like these kids throwing this word around because that's let, – let me – they can say that's their favorite player, but their favorite player in GOAT is two different things. Like, back in 1998-99 season, the trust we were when they played for the New York Knicks. And that was a short season, I believe, that year. And they end up going to the championship and the trust – yeah, they were the, they were the AC the that year. Was my favorite player. I, I left becoming a, a Chicago Bulls fan because Jordan retired, and I had to find a new player. And Latrell Spira, I don't know if it was the cornrows or something about his game. I just liked him. He was energetic. He was wild. He, he got to his spots. He got his jump shot off. I just I just was enamored by how he played. But you think I would have went out there on Flavor Flav's internet because Flavor Flav was popping back then, maybe a little bit later, and said, yeah, the Trell Spiro is the GOAT. No, he's my favorite player of all time, but he's not in the GOAT conversation. That was the wildest. That, that would have been wild of me to say. But these kids now, and that's showing that Lord have mercy, what they're looking up to is just crazy. That they will say, Paul George, who doesn't have an MVP, doesn't have a a, a championship, doesn't even have a, championship appearance and it is a team sport but he has been a part of it by scoring five points in big time games when his teammate named Russell West, Westbrook needed him in situations like that when he's folded plenty of times even as a clipper when you know when his team in LA needed him and to call him your goat it just shows me that maybe basketball is going down the drain and these are my last days of watching it. Cause yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, I agree. I think basketball is going on the drain. And I think Carmelo Anthony should write him out of the will, remove any trust that involved his son. Because for him to say that I thought was as distasteful as it gets. It shows a massive lack of appreciation for your father. Um, and it's not like your father was, I don't know, uh Alan Ogg. Or, or Pat Cummings or Terry Davis or Kevin Edwards or Jory Sparrow. He's a top 20. I don't know if he's top, top 20, 30. but he's way up there in top 30 scorer of all time. I mean, he was an elite. 
he's an elite, elite basketball player. And I know I've heard him say that he could beat his dad right now. No, the hell no, he not couldn't. Sure. No, he couldn't. Not if his dad wanted to play. Like, if he really wanted to play, like NBA play, Kai, Kai and Anthony would be on his ass. It would be it would be 11 yeah. nothing, or 15 nothing, or 21 nothing, or whatever they're playing to. The other side would be zero. Because if Carmelo, even in his defensive inability in the I, NBA, he would – his son couldn't get a shot I don't over. I think was that bad. I just think the narrative went with him. Well, that was the narrative. Uh, that was the narrative. Yeah, that was I the narrative that they didn't that, defend. Especially I mean, when LeBron, you know, he got LeBron. I don't. Know. <clears throat> but I, I would. He'd be out of my will. Um, he'd be out of my will, and I would probably tell him to move and pack his shit and get the fuck <laughs> out. Although he lives with his mother, so that's part of the. You know, I would tell her to move him the fuck out. Let him go live in a homeless shelter but for I a little while. I understand him being objective yeah. and not saying his dad for the reasons that he said. <clears throat> But say it's Michael Jordan, or I mean, it could be you. You pick a guy so who's because your dad didn't win a ring, or you know, or the accolades. What is and this goes back to yeah. ring culture, I, which I hate. Ring culture I doesn't make also. you great. It's not yeah. it doesn't make you great. You're not the a great player because you. It is. Yeah, if you're determining who the best is, yeah, then you could you could that uh, might be I a determining factor at the end. That yeah. at the end, but. You just picked yeah. Paul George. Like you picked and Paul George. George. You, didn't nice even game, pick, you, you didn't even pick Kawhi Leonard. You picked Paul George. It's baffling to me. And if and if I'm his dad, I'm not really happy about it. But that's... Go ahead, Rudy. What you got to say? 